Hi everyone, our project is Destructive Language Rater. I am Vishnu Priya Rajendran and this is Atira Indukumar. So uh, almost every individual in day-to-day -day life has a social media account and millions of data are being transferred through the network. So the con everyday social networking sites post millions of pieces of materials. And these contents can be a mixture of compliments, opinions or harmful materials. So our project goal is to create a machine learning model that distinguish between these toxic messages or comments on social medias. So our data, uh, our data is primarily from the Kegel. Uh, so our uh, data set consists of 1,58,000 sentences. And uh, we have collected uh, 1,000 data on our own and have manually labeled them from YouTube and Twitter. And some uh, we have created other data sets. Uh, regarding the pre-processing of the data, uh, we have removed the NANs. And uh, we have balanced the data based on toxic and non-toxic sentence. And we believe uh, we have, uh, as our data set is of multi-label, as we see in this image, uh, we have labeled the data sets based on toxic, severe toxic, obscene, threat, insult, and identity hate. So we have basically classified, like balanced the data based on toxicity and non-toxicity instead of these multi-labels because uh, that would reduce the um, amount of data set. So we have uh, um, used uh, a simple method of classic I mean balancing using toxic and non-toxicity. And as we see here, our data set has a unique ID, uh, the first column uh, and the second column consists of the text and the other six columns consist of the labels of toxic level. The output, uh, uh, we have assigned probabilities to each of the labels and based on the labels, we will be predicting the output. So we have used um, Gradio to show the output and the, one, the comment text has the input comment and we have used baseline and BERT model and based on the uh, classification we get the result as toxic or non-toxic or uh, obscene or threat. So talking about the model and the software, uh, our baseline model is a simple machine learning model and uh, we ran the model for 50 epochs and the time for e each epoch was like around 20 seconds. And uh, we used a distilled bird model because it's a lighter model and uh, we used a pre-trained uh, distilled bird model. The data was split to train validation and testing for both the baseline and bird models. And for the bird model, uh, finally we ran for uh, 10 epochs and the time for each epoch was around four to five hours. Uh, so to both the models, uh, we uh, the input was like tokenizing the sentences and the output was uh, probabilities assigned to uh, each of the six labels. And the additional software we used is Gradio uh, to interface our results. So based on the models, Gradio outputs the results and uh, based on the labels for both the baseline and BERT model. So this is an example of a result where both the uh, baseline and the BERT, toxic, uh, BERT models classified the sentence correctly and this is where it uh, classified incorrectly where a toxic sentence was classified as not toxic uh, with both the baseline and BERT models. This is where the baseline uh, classified it uh, wrong where the uh, BERT model classified it correctly and uh, these are two instances where we used our custom data to classify the sentences. And talking about the quantitative and the qualitative results, uh, so our loss curve, this is uh, our loss curve for the BERT model. And the accuracy for the BERT model was uh, like uh, much higher than the baseline model. Uh, the train accuracy was around 98% and the test accuracy was around 97, around 98% as well. And this is for the baseline model where the train accuracy was, uh, train accuracy and the test accuracy was around 90%. This is the accuracy curve we obtained for the baseline model. And this is for the BERT model. We ran only for uh, 10 epochs, and um, that's why the zigzag version. So uh, as we expected the BERT model to perform better than the baseline model, and uh, as we see in, saw in the previous uh, slides, the accuracy was more and the loss was less for the BERT compared to the uh, baseline model. And uh, as our data was multi-labeled, it was hard to balance the data set and uh, get correct results at the end. So for the further uh, improvement, we are planning to do with more epochs and more data sets and add more uh, data to uh, the labels which have less number of uh, data sets. Thank you.